This has to be one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to. Where are we going? This is not going well. Welcome to the tropical island of Koh Rong in Cambodia. We're going to be exploring this island today, showing you the best spots that you must visit and why this island is absolute paradise. This place is like the Maldives, guys. It's beautiful. So we just rented this bike, beautiful bike for $8 a day, which is, I think, a very good deal. They said $10. We got it for three days, so $8 a day. $8. We're currently, I think we're on the A5 but it's pretty much the only road on the island. We've actually just come here and we've seen this tarmac road, but we haven't seen any cars in it, no motorbikes, no nothing, just us riding. So we're gonna have a look and see where we end up. Guys, I am in a bit of disbelief. We've just arrived at this incredible white sandy beach. This is the most beautiful beach we've ever seen, I think. The sand is like snow and the water is so blue and like crystally, it's insane. Let's go in the water. Woo! Oh. Oh. It's, it's so refreshing. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Have you ever seen a more beautiful beach than this? I don't know about you, but when you think of Cambodia, think of the temples, you think of the culture, like the history of what's happened here, you don't think of paradise like this. This is stunning. I don't know if you saw that, but we just saw a little ray. I don't know what it was, probably a little stingray or something. And um, it was quite scared of us, so it wasn't staying that close, but it was so cool, wasn't it? Yeah, but it was like a really pale color. Like it really camouflaged in with the sand. Here. Yeah, it bl really blended cute. in so well. Yeah. It's like the Maldives here. This is pretty much the Maldives. Like how does it get more Maldivian? Maldivian? Maldivian than this. All you subscribers of mine are just going to be like, the Maldives of Cambodia, the Maldives of the Philippines. I keep going on about it, but it's it's the best way to show you and tell you what it's like. This is the Maldives of Cambodia, everyone. Guys, this sand is seriously so white and so fluffy. Like, I always test the colour of sand using my toenails, which I always paint like really white. And as you can see, it blends in. So I think this is some of the whitest sand that we've ever seen actually. I'd say it's as much as where we went in Australia. Apologies for taking you away from the tropical island of Koh Rong, but I need to talk to you about the partners of today's video and that is NordVPN. I've been using a VPN ever since I started traveling five years ago and it's become an essential part of my everyday life. My favorite part about using NordVPN is it allows me to watch my favorite Netflix shows from back home in the UK. Here's a little secret. If you wanna watch Harry Potter on Netflix, then you can. All you have to do is connect up to NordVPN, choose a server such as Australia or Turkey, and you can watch it seamlessly. At the moment when I turn my VPN off and search something on Google, then Cambodian websites just come up and obviously I have no idea how to read it. But by switching to my VPN, this is instantly solved. As you may be aware, there are many other benefits to having a VPN. And importantly, it's gonna save you from having any cybersecurity threats. When you're connecting to lots of different Wi-Fi, this can heavily increase your chances of an attack, especially free public Wi-Fi. But don't worry, if you've got a VPN, you can connect up easily with just one single click. Right now, NordVPN have an incredible deal as it's their 11th birthday and they are giving away free subscription time. If you choose to get the two year plan with NordVPN, you'll be given four months completely free if you use the link right here. Buy this exclusive NordVPN deal by clicking the top link in the description. Let's go back to the beach. So we have just been chilling out at this beautiful beach for a couple of hours. If you're wondering why I'm not wearing my sunglasses, then this is why. They literally broke in my bag when we were traveling. And so I pretty much only got these, this bit left. I threw the rest because the rest of it was broken but yeah, I thought I'd keep pirate. this. Yeah I'm mean, like a pirate now washed up on a desert island, tropical island. Arr. So we have left that beach because we're going right down further to the beach because we saw a pier and we thought what's a more fun thing to do at sunset than jump off a pier. That's what we're gonna do. So we just stopped here because I wanted to show you this. This is the Koh Rong Development Master Plan approved by the government. So I think, I, I need to do some research myself, but I think they're trying to really develop this island with lots of resorts, like basically develop it loads. From when I was here five years ago, you could not even rent a bike. These rows, which we're currently riding on, didn't even exist. 
in just five years so much has developed and i think they're really trying to make this island really popular for tourists to bring money to cambodia so that is a really good thing you probably can't see but the road zoning plan here says year one to five and then it says year 20 to 25 so i'm guessing in 25 years there could be a road around the whole island which is quite crazy mm. right let's go to the pier so unfortunately we can't go on the pier because apparently it's private we tried to go on and then a security guard was like oh no private sorry private so we can't go on there so we're just gonna watch the sunset on the beach which is not really ba bad is it no but we will find another pier one day yeah to jump off there's here. loads of piers here so i'm sure we can find one look at this guys we bought a dragon fruit just before we came to the beach and look how nice this looks the pink dragon fruits are so much better than the white ones inside i think these are like a little bit sweeter aren't they yeah they're both so pretty as well and all you got to do is literally like peel it like i don't know Thank you. bless you sorry peel it like a banana almost <laughs> um and then you just eat the whole inside but they're so tasty so we've basically got ourselves an egg <laughs> a dragon fruit egg a dragon egg even and well let's eat it like this um, and it's so good How was that for a sunset, girly? That sunset was awesome. Yeah. And Joel has just learned to backflip. Yeah. Epic. Guys, I have just learned to backflip. Like, this is insane. I've wanted to do this my whole life. And today is the day I've done it. In Korong, is that, if that's the message, just uh, come to Korong, because I learned to backflip here, then you should, you know? Right, I, we need to feel, like show you guys. So here we go. <laughs> it's the dream guys, it's the dream! He's done it! <laughs> it's cool so make sure you like and subscribe for that, I mean come on! This beach is absolutely stunning. It is. If you want to watch the sunset on Koh Rong Island then you need to come to Sok San Beach. Also known as Long Beach I think. Yeah Long Beach as well. It's got, <laughs> I think it's got a few names because it's just so long like it just goes on for five miles but the sunset behind us was absolutely beautiful with the white sand starts to glow gold. And this place is just stunning. Honestly, if it's this beach is in particular, that is a reason to come to Koh Rong because this place is just, oh, I can't get over it. We just got back and there is a crab. In a, our room. In our room. <laughs> not, a, not a lizard, not an ant. A crab. A crab. Ooh, ooh. That must have been in my bag. It must have been in your bag, because a crab would with two hundred. I was carrying a crab. That's <laughs> probably two hundred meters, three hundred meters away, like fifty meters up above the sea level. Get it round this. Ah! We're free speed again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was a crab. A crab. <laughs> Good morning from paradise again. We're on another beautiful day in Koh Rong and look at this beach. This is incredible. And we finally found a little pontoon which we can jump off. It's bright and early in the morning. It's probably like 7.30 a.m., 8 a.m. So we're gonna send some jumps, go in the water. What a beautiful way to wake up. Amelia's just jumped in, but we're now we've got to try and get back up. You might be able to get up there, but Good luck. If not, you've got to swim all the way over there. Oh, they've got a perfect rope. Nice one. Imagine if I just fell back in. <laughs> We've been bitten by so many sandflies in more like uninhabited places, like when we went to Balabac and like here on some of the more remote uh, like beaches, there's basically loads of sandflies and they are the most itchiest thing I've ever had like seriously seriously itchy they last for like five or seven days don't they and so much like ten times worse than mosquito yeah bites. mosquito bites are nothing in comparison to these these little sandflies are so horrible they suck your blood and they're like really really small which makes it feel better so let's go in Woo! we have had an awesome time just jumping in the water like just feeling alive the water here is just so beautiful but it is now time to get some brekkie, get some food in us, fuel us for the day because 
So this afternoon, we want to send it to like the other part of the island and kind of explore around there. So that is the mission today. Let's get brekky and then let's get on the road. So we have just arrived at somewhere on the north, south, east, east coast of the island. And there is not many people here, actually. It does seem a lot less busy, but we kind of got the tides out. So we kind of got these little bit of like what they're called sandbars, which is quite cool. And the pier here but it is so quiet here. In the distance, you can see that incredible resort. I think that resort over there has its own private island. So probably quite expensive to stay there and not quite in our budget. But I'll tell you what, it's in our budget, this free beach. So we've been here about half an hour. We've walked around like all these little sandbanks and stuff and it is super cool. There's also a little village over there and I think that's why there's quite a lot of locals. This is more like the local side of the island. Apart from one big area is the private island over there. And honestly, it is so, so luxury. I flew the drone over there and got some crazy shots of those like floating, well, like houses on stilts. It must be so expensive to stay over there. But how much does that look like the Maldives? That looks like it is straight out the Maldives with the, you know, the houses and the stilts. It's crazy. There is another beach and I, we may try and go there in a minute, but I'm not sure how dodgy the road is. And it's called Lonely Beach and it's on the very north coast of the island. So we're going to attempt to go have a look, but we don't have loads of time because we want to go to another part of the island as well. So yeah, let's go. This is the way to Lonely Beach. It's getting a little bit narrow now, but <laughs> we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Proper jungle path now. <laughs> Where are we going? This is so jungly. So jungly. <laughs> this is not easy at all. If you've ever driven a bike on sand, you know it's not easy. Whoa. This is not going well. Where are we going? Woo! Woo! Look at that. He's done it. I just tripped over. We have just arrived at Lonely Beach. It is quite sandy on the way, but as long as you've got a bit of experience, I like, I think you will be fine. Like it's through the jungle as you saw and it's really cool. But now we have arrived at Lonely Beach. And I'll be honest, it's pretty lonely here. It's just me and Amelia, I think. And maybe it's a guy fishing over there. Looks like there's someone over there, but yeah. This is beautiful. Right on the north side of Koh Rong Island and you escape everyone. So guys, we are gonna head off now because it is getting a bit dark and obviously the way here is pretty crazy and probably gets pretty dingy in the jungle. So we're gonna head off. But wow, this beach is really cool. Very different to the other beaches here on Koh Rong, like super tropical, kind of nice little vibe to it. I love it. You love it? Feels, it feels like, not that I've been, but I feel like almost Sri Lanka vibes with the more orange sand and so many palm trees. It's, yeah. it's cool. It's cool. Right, let's get back on the bike. I'm back to our place. This is where we're staying and honestly it's such a good room and it actually is AC and on this island Koh Rong it's actually not that common especially for like cheaper places to stay so if you are looking to stay somewhere but this is small guest house and um, the guy the owner is really really lovely gives you fruit in the mornings and yeah it's just a really really good place to stay. I hope you enjoyed the video. Honestly, Koh Rong is one of my favorite islands in the whole of Southeast Asia. It is absolutely beautiful. And honestly, we spent like eight nights there and we just wanted to extend and extend and extend. Highly recommend just chilling out, using it as a good spot just to chill. Thank you so much for watching the video. We will see you in the next one where we're going to Pen on Pen in Cambodia. See you then. Bye.